Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm super excited to share something very exciting with you guys. But before that, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any updates. So let's hit it. Yes, I am pregnant guys. Now I was really really waiting for so long to share with you guys this news but I had to wait for it for the right time to come and finally I'm sharing this with you guys and I'm so excited because I can't wait to have you guys on this journey with me in my new venture. So I'm 18 weeks pregnant now and this is my second trimester so my first trimester is already over so I thought of sharing a very candid and an honest opinion about my journey of this pregnancy this is my first pregnancy by the way so I thought of sharing my entire first trimester experience with any of the ones who are actually planning to conceive or are going through the first trimester because I had some weird symptoms and not many people had those symptoms so I was very confused that why am I getting these kind of symptoms and others did not have that like people commonly will see symptoms like um, they will have morning sickness or they will have weird smell but I had a lot of other kind of symptoms which not not many people have during their pregnancy so while I was researching about it only then I got to know that these are common symptoms but it was not really seen around me whoever was pregnant or who had an experience of pregnancy before so I thought I should document this for the ones who are planning to conceive or who have that first trimester symptoms and they are like wondering what is going on with them and nobody is telling them about it. It. okay so I thought of sharing all of that with you guys in this video today so so first and foremost when I got to know about my pregnancy I was really really shocked because this was a surprise for me I'll tell you why because when uh, we were planning for conception it's not like that but I didn't I didn't know that it will happen in the first time itself with for me so what I uh, was getting symptoms when I got to know about the pregnancy was that you know I was having a, so much of pain just like how are you going to get your periods like that kind of pain I had so I was delayed by in my periods for almost one week or 10 days around and I was so frustrated but why am I not getting the periods this time and I usually get periods on time but this time it was a little delayed but I thought that maybe I'm not pregnant because I was having so much of pain as if I'm going to get the period so I was wearing the pad all throughout the day for so many days and I was not bleeding at all so I was really frustrated so one day what happened was that I woke up in the morning at around 6 and I was so frustrated because my stomach was paining it was exactly like the PMS and the period pain that one will have and I didn't know that pregnancy can also make you feel like that I had no idea about that so when I, I had a small kit at home so when I got myself checked in the morning I was really blown away that it happened for the first time that I am pregnant in the very first go I didn't know about that that this can be practically possible for me so when it happened I was like blown away and it was uh, a great experience I was very overwhelmed but I was also nervous at the same time that suddenly things have just changed and I don't know how things will move after this but it was a great experience after that once I got to know that I am pregnant I you know started having a lot of symptoms which were very very weird and I was like clueless that why is this happening so I have listed down everything for you guys so that I don't miss out on any of the symptoms that I had from top to bottom everything I have actually written in this on the paper so I'll go one by one uh, with each of the symptoms so uh, yes I used to have a nausea in the morning but uh, I did not have so much of vomiting kind of feeling I used to just feel that you know something like especially while I was brushing that time I used to feel uh, nausea kind of feeling but after that it used to just go away completely so I did not have the vomit problem as such but definitely the nausea and I realized that the nausea feeling was mainly because I was super super hungry I used to feel hungry like crazy I never felt hungry in my life like this ever before so the hunger pangs were like crazy I used to wake up in the middle of the night I used to keep some snacks uh, around me always if I used to delay my meal little bit also it used to give me horrible cramp and uh, a lot of uh, pain in my stomach so it was terrible I had to sometimes 
after eating the meal also i used to feel super hungry immediately after eating the meal also which never happened with me this was my first experience feeling so hungry so hungry and when you keep hungry for so long like especially during the night in the morning that empty stomach used to give me that nausea feeling but the minute i used to have something everything used to fall in place so that was mainly because of uh, the feeling of hunger the next was i used to feel a lot of uh, tiredness and fatigue feeling i used to feel that like right now also when i'm making this video i have that capacity to speak in one go but that time i did not have so much of capacity to speak for so long uh, i couldn't i ha i had to take a lot of breaks in between because i used to feel tired i used to snack something and then i used to eat i used to snack something and then i used to uh, oh, sorry <laughs> i used to snack something and then i used to speak uh, i used to snack and then i used to do my entire work so i had to always eat so that i have some energy to be able to function properly otherwise it was like not really okay for me to do anything at all even counseling sessions and everything i had to shut down for quite some time i was not able to do consistent back to back calls with my patients so yeah this was like uh, a lot of uh, problem for me at that point of time especially when you're working it was like terrible i also had a lot of weight loss in spite of eating well this is also something that i didn't know initially but yes a lot of people told me that yes it does happen that it, a lot of women will lose weight in the first trimester and that happened with me so i was eating well but still i lost weight and along with that i also had a lot of hair fall lot of hair fall like nobody ever told me that hair fall can happen during pregnancy but it was just the opposite everybody told me that the hair becomes more beautiful it becomes more thicker the skin becomes more brighter but it was just the opposite for me i had excessive hair fall the the entire house used to be full of hair on my floor so it was terrible also my skin was looking so dull and dark uh, as if uh, i was ill i was not keeping well it was really really dull for me uh, it didn't look uh, glowing at all uh, i also looked very dehydrated in spite of drinking enough water by the way the water intake although i was trying to keep it up but i was hating drinking water anything that was liquid i hated that because uh, when i had something liquidy it used to make me feel uh, very uneasy in my stomach and i used to feel like puking so that uh, liquid feeling was like not really good for me so maybe because i was i was drinking enough water but it was not you know giving me so much of hydration maybe i was limiting myself so that's why i my skin was dull but in general the skin was really really dark and dull uh, i also had this weird symptom of having ringing in my ears and itchy in my ears which nobody actually told me that is usual for them i used to get this very frequently and when i read on internet about this then i got to know that yes it is also one of the symptoms that people have during their first trimester or during their entire pregnancy and uh, yes one more very important symptom that i had when i actually didn't even know that i'm pregnant was that i was getting a lot of ulcers in my mouth a lot of ulcers uh i started uh, doing um, coconut oil pulling i started changing my lifestyle actually i didn't know that i was pregnant at that point of time so i started having coconut coconut milk and all of that but i kept thinking that you know it's actually the food that is giving me heat problems so i stopped all of that maybe i'm allergic or this or that but i was already consuming those foods but suddenly i got a lot of ulcers in my mouth because of heat and i didn't know at that point of time that i'm pregnant and again none of the people around me told me that they had this kind of a symptom but i had that symptom and when i researched about it i got to know that this is also something that is very common but not many people know about this so i thought of sharing this with you so as soon as i hit my second month uh, from that day onwards i had terrible pelvis pain terrible it was so bad it was so bad that i actually had to not use the bed at all because here in us we have very squishy squishy beds like you know the posture is not as good so i thought maybe is it because of that that i'm feeling uncomfortable so i used to lie down on the mattress uh, on the floor but that also didn't help at all but eventually it became so much severe for me that i started getting a nerve compression and i had terrible back pain 
I was literally limping and walking. I was not even able to bend down. I was not able to walk properly. It was a terrible pain that I was not even able to sit for long hours. So that was also something which was very weird. It was very scary for me because uh, none of the people around me told me that they had this kind of an issue. They told me that they feel that heaviness, but I had a lot of pain in my pelvis. But Thankfully, uh, here when I checked it with the doctor, they told me that it is absolutely normal and they told me this term, it is known as pelvic girdle pain. This is what is known as, uh, this term is what is this doctor's, oh, this is what the doctors will tell that this is the term that they use for this kind of a pain and I had that issue. They told me that maybe because I this is my first pregnancy and I was always, a, always like a petite girl, so because of that maybe that the the ligaments are stretching so much that it is just compressing my nerves also which is why i got that kind of a pain but they never ever told me that you are supposed to do bed rest they told me that in spite of this please start walking so that was the best thing they encouraged me to work out and eventually i was i was very active i listened to my doctors i was active i was wearing the right kind of shoes and i was active throughout the day and you won't believe as soon as I hit my third month, the pain was completely gone. I don't know how it went, but it was just completely gone. So thank God I just listened to my doctors and I believed in them because here in US, it's only me and my husband who live. We don't have the family support. Otherwise, uh, sometimes what happens is that like, you know, everybody will say that you just do bed rest and don't move at all, which is also great. But uh, I wanted to be active during my pregnancy. I didn't want to be on bed rest. So I was just praying that that doctor asked me to be active. So that was the case for me. And I was super, super happy. Uh, and then, yes, of course, I also had a lot of strong smell sensation. Especially, I used to hate eating any kind of proteins. Like, especially uh, eggs. I hated eggs at that point of time. The smell of egg was like so strong. I couldn't bear that. Uh, the smell of um, any kind of protein in fact was whenever I used to eat also I used to hate the feeling of any kind of protein it can be dals it can be um, uh, the chicken uh, uh, if, if I see that somebody's cooking that and the smell comes oh my god even that smell was like terrible for me I couldn't take the smell of any kind of proteins uh, for me uh, and also like I said the water was not tolerable for me at all so but still I was hydrating myself because I the doctor told me that you have to stay very hydrated and I used to feel sleepy all day uh, I used to I'm sure a lot of you will have this kind of a symptom but yes I used to feel very sleepy throughout I used to feel like not getting up eat sleep uh, just take your bath sleep and do your basic things and then sleep. I used to feel so sleep. I could just sleep like 14, 14 hours in a day. It was like that uh, that much uh, sleepiness that I had at that point of time. And uh, just, just to tell you guys that along with this, I was also continuing, which I still am continuing. I have been, I was given actually a prenatal by the doctor, but I switched it to a better brand because I am a nutritionist. I know the better absorption value. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying that the doctor doesn't know. But what happened was that the doctor, what she gave me was uh, in a pill box that didn't mention any of the ingredients in that. So I was not okay with that. So which is why I got this brand. And I'm sure she knows her job really well. But I wanted to make sure uh, that I am <laughs> taking the right kind of supplement. So in that pack, uh, there was no mention of even the ingredients. And also there was no mention of if there is any bulking agent or any preservatives or any harsh uh, preservatives that they used or not. Because uh, I have seen a lot of prenatals over the counter here that uh, that has a lot of these preservatives and I was not okay with that. So I ordered my own, which I give to my patients. And this is what I got. I got this pure encapsulation pre prenatals this is uh, having all the multivitamins and everything is in the folate form in the methyl form 
and also has the iron in that which is very very important and then um, i also now have started taking this magnesium uh, and calcium combination because the calcium requirement increases during pregnancy so this is what i have been taking but please make sure that you are asking your doctor before taking anything don't go by what i am taking you have to speak with your doctor about whatever you are taking um, since i i'm a nutritionist like i said i have the knowledge about how do you work uh, on yourself during pregnancy or with the patient but because uh, this is a youtube video i don't want to make it like a generic uh, claim so please ask your doctor before you take this is what i'm sharing from my uh, experience and then because i hate taking any kind of proteins uh, i have been taking this protein powder this is the best quality protein powder that i know of here in us and i'm taking this from metagenics and i had also uh, asked my functional medicine doctor about this so i have been taking this protein supplement and it's a vegan protein uh, because i have started hating eggs like i said and i'm primarily a vegetarian so i just used to eat eggs so i hate i hate <laughs> eggs also now so what i'm doing is i'm compensating that with this protein powder which is really good in taste and it's going well with my system also it's very easy to digest tastes really good also but please like i said please ask your doctor before you take anything anything don't just try to copy me please so this was about my first trimester experience i hope you took some insights from my journey and if you're planning to conceive if you're already pregnant or if you are just here for my journey then thank you so much for the love and support if you have any questions that you want to share any stories or you have any particular experience of yours then write it in the comments i would love to read that and also help you guys if in case you have any questions and before you actually leave please hit the like button for this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because a lot of pregnancy updates and healthy living experiences will come on this channel so stay tuned for the next video see you then bye bye